So, Indiana Jones 5, has the script leaked? Have we got details, new plot points? Mmm, has the name leaked? Let's check it out. Let's dive into this today, ladies and gents. So this came out over on Twitter and also Reddit. Take it all with a massive pinch of salt and also take what I'm gonna say with a massive pinch of salt. I have reached out to my sources and I was told categorically, and I quote, there are some half truths in this, but mostly bullshit. There you go. So basically, sadly, mostly bullshit. But some half truths. So let's put it together, let's discuss it. I wanted to say that up front because some people would be like, oh my god, spoilers. And there might be potential spoilers, because I was told categorically that there are half truths in this. But I also want to relate to some other information that this source had given me, and we can try and narrow it down to seeing what this is actually about and whether what was revealed is actually true or not. Okay. So, ladies and gents, what dropped over on Twitter? This dropped over on Twitter. Indiana Jones and the Order of Elysium. Now, I actually like that as a name. I think that could be great. I actually also think that could be the name. I don't doubt that this here could be legit. In fact, I'm 75% certain it... it yeah, I'm 75% positive it could be legitimate. I'm not poo-pooing this. I think this has the potential to be true. I do. I really do. But after all, it is literally just a piece of paper that someone has taken a photo of and it's wound up on the internet. Now, what proceeded with that, though, ladies and gents, is what then caused the stir. And it's and it's uh, it's Reddit, isn't it? It says Reddit, which is here. So, Indy 5, major spoilers. And here's the image. And here's the spoilers that they're giving, right? So, straight out of Pinewood Studios. Someone on crew in Scotland was as careful as they should have been, or wasn't as careful as they should have been. Um, the film is called Indiana Jones and the Order of Elysium. I can buy that. It opens in 1945 and continues in 1967. Now, I can actually believe that. I can believe that an awful lot because we've also seen set photos of a young Indiana Jones. I did a video on it. When they're filming up in uh, York, Yorkshire, I, I believe it was, there were photos of the stunt double posing as young Indiana Jones. Uh, there's the set photos of all the trains kitted out with Nazi paraphernalia, imagery, iconography, everything. So I can believe that it opens up in 1945. Remember, I was told that there are some half truths to this, but mostly bullshit. Uh, I can believe that it will continue in 1967. Why? Because we've got old ass Indiana Jones. Of course, of course it's going to continue. Like, of course it will. Now here's where we start to go down the rabbit hole of me not believing it. And this is where I think the mostly bullshit comes in. Phoebe Waller-Bridge plays a British journalist called Chiara, who is investigating NASA's involvement with a former Nazi scientist, Schroeder, played by Mads Mikkelsen. I believe that. I think that's true. Toby Jones plays a character called Wyatt, who stumbles upon a plot by Mads Mikkelsen's character Schroeder to activate a device called Die Glock. This device has the potential to manipulate time, and Schroeder wants to reverse the outcome of the war and establish a new Nazi empire. That's where I start to not believe it. Why do I not believe that? Well, because of this. This was leaked concept art, supposedly, uh, and I spoke to my source, and I was told that this was just leaked as fake. So I'm looking at this, and the de Glock there, I was told is not part of the story. So that's something which I was told, categorically, is not part of the story. It's not to be believed. So I think that's part of the bullshit, right? I've got to stop cursing, because the video will be demonetized. Um, it also doesn't go. It does. It also doesn't line up with the ele the other elements that we had heard, which was actually about um, space, right? About the first moon landing, because that's basically what this is based on. Um, is that you know there were Nazi scientists that did work for NASA and they worked on the first um, moon landing. Now Wyatt has stolen a crypt text from Schroeder's party which contains clues to the MacGuffin's whereabouts. I can probably believe some of that. Um, the MacGuffin, 
is an ancient power source called the Kronos Stone that could help power deglock. NASA wants to use this to advance the space race. Now, this is where I think that there are some half-truths. I do think that this Kronos Stone might be true. I think this might be legitimate. The most interesting dynamic in the entire script is that Indy is working against the American government, who are blindly helping and funding the main villain to help the, uh, to, to help find the Kronos Stone. Um, I think that could be true. I think that could be true. John Rhys Davies appears in a small scene where Indy, Kiara, and Wyatt, or Clara, uh, and Wyatt take refuge in Sa in Sailor. Can't really can't really read that. It's a little bit skewy on my screen. Uh, fine. The ending scene where DeGlock is activated and opens a wormhole sees several major characters from the past films appear as swirling ghosts. Now, where do you think they got that from? Where do you think Reddit got that from? Well, it's all from this, isn't it? But I've been told that this is fake. I've been, I have been told that this is fake. Now, I could be wrong. My source could be wrong. I, I said on those videos, take it with a pinch of salt. It's a reliable source. I do, you know, I believe the source. But I think a lot of this has been compiled together uh, because of that leak. I think that's where a lot of people have got this from. I, I think that the image of the, you know, of the script itself or, or the, the, you know, the, this here, I think that could be true. I think the title could be true. But I think the wormholes and things like that, no, I, I don't think that is true. From what I've been told, anyway, uh, Belog, Tote, Motoram... Isa and Spaco are the ones names in the script, okay? Uh, the villain's death is sounds gruesome. Their flesh is torn from their bones in a vortex of light, okay? Sure, I mean, but if the wormholes aren't true, I don't believe that either. Karen Allen appears at the beginning and at the end of the film. Sure. Action set pieces include motorbikes, a motorbike train chase, a rapid river escape, and a violent fist fight in a crumbling Greek temple. Now again, ladies and gents, where would they have got all of that from in terms of motorbikes, trains, the set photos? Now again, I could be wrong, but I think that's where the half-truths are coming in. So take this all with a massive pinch of salt, but I don't believe a lot of this stuff is true. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, obviously, but there you go. I thought I'd do a report on it. What do you guys think? Where do you think the half-truths are? Or maybe my source is just lying to me. We'll have to see. I'm not, I'm not saying 100% it's confirmed. I'm saying I was told. And we'll have to wait and see. The source is pretty damn good though normally. So we'll see. We'll see. Let me know what you think though, ladies and gents, down below. I think a lot of this is hopeful speculation taken from other leaks. Which I've been told are wrong. So if they're wrong, this is wrong. Or at least the elements which came from that are wrong. And, and I'm one of these people that want the de Glock to be in this film. I would love it to be in this film. But I have been told that it's not. So because of that, I have to kind of run with it. Even though I want it to be in the film. But let me know what you think, ladies and gents, down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. You stayed this long. You clearly enjoyed the video, so do hit that subscribe button. And do hit that like button on your way out. Thank you all so much. Take care.